Take a small piece of 50-50 flour and sugar paste mix and press it into the base of the table tennis bat cavity. Ease it to cover the base of the textured section only. It should just be a thin layer which reaches the edges but does not fill the whole depth of the cavity. Use a Dresden tool to neaten the edge. Press the beige paste at the rear of the paddle and handle. The second piece of coloured texture can be added to the opposite side of the paddle afterwards if a 3D bat is required. Use a fine edged scraper to trim away a portion of the excess paste. Work from the centre towards the outside edge, smooth and turn to trim away the rest of the excess. Rub firmly with your finger before using a sharp point to catch hold of the paste to release and then peel. Small balls of coloured paste approximately size 5 as measured with the size guide should be made. Set the balls into the cavity in the correct formation. Once they have dried Roll a sausage of dark grey or black paste and press around the triangle frame. Work the, and ease the paste over the back of the dried balls. Use your scraper to trim away the excess paste from the outside edge. Do not try to trim from the back of the balls. This should be left proud of the mould. Work all the way around the triangle. Use your finger to smooth the edges. Release with a sharp point and peel to remove. Ease the frame downwards to level and then leave to dry. A long sausage of dark grey paste is pressed into the tennis racket frame. The Dresden tool is used to neaten the edges and make sure none of the paste covers the central area. Use your fingers to ease the excess paste towards the outside edge.
The lighter grey paste is used to mould the racket strings. Press this firmly so it bonds with the darker grey outside edge. Press, skim and smooth. Further general moulding hints and tips for using this mould can be found in our How to Use Cell Shapes Moulds video. Use the Dresden tool to locate the raised triangle at the base of the racket head and rub to remove the excess paste from this area. Trim if necessary. Use the scriber to check it has not stuck to the mould and peel. Set aside to dry. Mould or paint the grip as required. Press some coloured paste into the boxing glove, leaving quite a mound to make the cushioned area to the top of the glove. Press to neaten around the edge of the glove Use a scraper to trim away the excess paste from the wrist area only. Smooth. Once removed from the mould, place on a board and ease the paste edges downward to create a flat back to this piece. Some black powder colour is mixed with a tiny amount of vegetable fat so the colour does not migrate. Rub the brush on some paper towel to remove any excess colour. Brush across the raised areas of the boot. Mixing the powder with too much fat will leave the paste surface greasy, inhibiting the addition of colour. Use a small flat bristle brush to enable accurate application.